was in my alone happy world where I started to grow my talent. And then one day, I had an awesome idea. What if I made a Lego Titanic replica? I love this. Part of a new documentary on Brynjar, who built a replica of the Titanic out of Legos. The subject of a new documentary titled How the Titanic Became My Lifeboat. There is a free screening of it tomorrow in Pigeon Forge. Uh, pretty incredible. And he joins us now here in studio along with First Class Maid, Jody. Great to see y'all. Good seeing you. Um, this is incredible. In the documentary, we, I, I've watched the preview several times. It looks really inspiring. What, what is it all about? So basically it's based on a true story on how I uh, basically overcame my obstacles when I was uh, like very autistic and I had difficulties in social life. And this basically shows how this project helped out of my autistic fog. Wow. Just staying focused on this per particular project. Why did you choose um, the Titanic? Well, it's purely for its history. It's just so nice to learn some obviously history is amazing to learn uh, if you well if you like it obviously uh, but the titanic was very unique in a sense of way it was just it's hard to explain titanic is just unique that's just one word to say it it's just nice fascinating just fascinating it's you, just you, fascinating. Are, you are as well, and I mean that in a very complimentary way. I really do. Oh, thank you so much. Um, let's talk about this documentary. You all are going to be showing it, right, yes. at the Titanic. Pigeon Forge Cinema. Okay, Pigeon yeah. Forge right Cinema. Right there in Walding Landing. Okay, yes. Uh, they yeah. were gracious enough to give us their whole theater, so 600 seats. Wow. Complimentary tickets. All you have to do is go to our website, titanicpigeonforge.com. Now, in the morning, um, we'll open the doors at 10 o'clock, so we will have first come, first serve. And it's always packed in. I know it whatever is. you all do is packed in. Um, will you be there to, to welcome people? Obviously. And the best thing is that it's free. It's, it's free. free to uh, go to the cinemas and this see This is its the premiere. Document. No one in the world has seen this. They've chosen Pigeon Forge that is so for cool. the world premiere. It, it's going to premiere, so it's a month before premiere. So it doesn't go to the public until in April. So I think this is a very big opportunity for people to understand autism and also mm. know me more as a person and more about the project. I think this is a very good opportunity to go to Pigeon Forge and see the amazing documentary that like, I and my family have made. It's amazing. That is, you know, the In my opinion, typical Mary and, and Titanic <laughs> up there getting this movie first, right? Yeah, <laughs> of course. <laughs> no other way. Let me ask you this. What do you hope people, especially young people who, are, who have autism, yeah. walk away from that theater with thinking about? There's one thing that I like to, the th what they're thinking, is hope. Hope, because this movie shows me in a, in a different way. This movie shows me how I was, because when I was younger, I was super aggressive. Mm. I was always the kid that always uh, on the back. I was not a social kid back then. And I just wanted to give people hope that seeing s such a child just more evolved, if, if, it, if that makes sense, yeah. You've Absolutely blossomed. does. Yeah. And I think it probably makes sense to a lot of parents watching out there who may have a child who has autism that has that specific type. Yeah. Where they are a little more uh, aggressive. Yeah. But um, why did you choose to give this out complimentary? We want everyone to see it. And that is part of what his mother wants. She wants, once it hits the mainstream, you can contact his mom and you can show it at your um, workplace. You can wow. show it at your church. And one of her stipulations is free. free. We want people to see what it's like to have people with autism in their workplace. One of the people in his documentary is Jeremy, who works with us at the Titanic. Mm. That they can train their weaknesses is what you've been telling the boys and girls all this week. Yes. Train Incredible. your weaknesses and yeah. you can do anything. Well, this is terrific. Okay. Pleasure meeting you, really. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Always good seeing you, Jody. We appreciate it very much and hope it goes well. I know it will.